here is a wide shot of my bookshelves. You can see they're overflowing onto the top, they go all the way down. It's rather sad. But anyway, so let us begin at the beginning. This is my Witches and Wizards shelf, I guess you could say. Um, so it has all of the Harry Potter books. I would love to get the uh, Monster Book of Monsters and the Quidditch Through the Ages, I think they came out with when the books were first coming out. And then like the Secret Circle, Once a Witch, the Iron Witch, Born Wicked, Wish, White Cat, which I need to get um, Red Glove in the matching cover. And then sadly Black Heart will not match, but whatever. Um, Rachel Hawkins' Hex Hall books, The Magnolia League, so good. And then down we come. This is a shelf of contemporary novels with white covers. I know that sounds strange, but um, that's just how it is. So we have Shug, the summer uh, trilogy, all by Jenny Han. Sweethearts, The Big Crunch, Stolen, The Debutante, which was so cute. Ten Things We Did and Probably Shouldn't Have. The Three Daughters books that I have, I need to get the fourth one that came out. And I believe the third one is signed from BEA. Um, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, which is so good. Peace, Love, and Baby Ducks. The Exile of Gigi Lane, Spoiled. And then we come down while I step off the stool. This is another shelf of contemporaries. So um, it has all, okay, well first it has um, uh, The Princess and the Pauper by Katie Bryan, then Invincible Summer by Hannah Moskowitz, Popular, I'm Not Her, Catching Jordan, loved that book. I cannot wait for the next one. And then all of the books except the Book of Spells, I think it's called, in the Private series. And then over here we have all the books in the Privilege series, both by Kate Bryan. Oh, love the Privilege series, so good. And then I have um, Six Reasons of Me or Six Rules of Maybe by Deb Coletti. All of the Sarah Dessen books that I have, I think I'm only missing two so far in paperback. Gail Foreman's two books, A Blue So Dark by Holly. Schindler. There we go. So, let me come down further. This is my Tamara Pierce shelf with some lovely little votive candle things. Um, there are a couple of hers that I'm missing. Um, one, I think, oh, actually there's less missing than I thought. One missing in her line is um, Quartet. And then... I want the covers to match because I am anal like that. And her newer ones, like the Becca Cooper ones, I'm missing those. And the Legend of Tortal, but I pretty much have all the rest. I love her books. She's such an amazing author. If you haven't checked her out, you really should. And then down here, we get a bunch of kind of like random books. I don't even know what's down here. Um, it's all of my Philippa Gregory's though. I love, love, love The Other Bowling Girl. Like it was a book that I literally could not put down and like my friends and I were all in Cuba. So all of those, Jasper Ford, who's supposed to be fantastic, I just haven't read them yet. And then a bunch of other books, um, The Memoirs of a Geisha, so good. And same with Where the Heart Is by Billy Lutz, amazing. Bottom shelf here we have some uh, writing books, the Baby Names books, best tool for an author. I had it in high school for my writer's craft course. It was amazing. And then yearbooks. Oh my gosh, it's my high school. Second shelf set. So these are all of my Sarah Shepard books. Love the fact that they are now all in hardcover. You have no idea how much that killed me seeing the first book in paperback. And then her line game, Sister of the Traveling Pants, and then the uh, finale book, which, okay, this, this annoys me. See, see how that is so much taller than the other ones. Not cool. Not cool. My Perfect Chemistry Trilogy. Love those books. The second one was my favorite. Anna and Lola. So amazing. If you haven't read them yet, you really should. 
And then we come down here. So down here I have random, um, one random contemporary young adult. And then Chelsea Handler Brooks, love her, she's hilarious. A friend of mine has the lives that Chelsea Handler told me, so it's just the cover. Um, and then other biographies. And then I have a whole bunch of contemporaries, which are amazing. Um, High Society and Uncommon Criminals. If you haven't read them yet, you really should. So, Stay. Oh my god, that was one of the best books I read last year by Deb Coletti. So amazing. The Duff by Cody Keplinger. Every Little Thing in the World is one of those special books that will always hold a very dear place on my shelf. It was the first book I was ever sent by an author, and she was so sweet. Oh my goodness. And the book. And then we come down a shelf. This is my vampire and paranormal shelf. So, Vampire Diaries, Jessica's Gut, Dating on Dark Side. I will refuse to buy the second book unless I find it in like a bargain bin. I loved the first one, hated the second. Toilet books. True Blood DVDs. They're not really books, but they're so good. Um, all of these. Paranormacy, Supernaturally, Beautiful Equal, and Dark Becomes Her. The Vampire Stalker. The first two books in the Blue Bud series, I have, have yet to read them, and I have yet to buy any of the others, but those are them. All of the Vampire Academy books, and I kind of don't like that the first two books don't match the other four in covers. But I'll deal. They're the same size. That's all that matters. Um, Infinite Days. I cannot wait for the second one. Like, it keeps getting pushed back and date and, ugh. Oh, I just need the next part. And then, uh, the Society of S books. We come down here. And it's more paranormal. So these are all the fairy books. Kind of, that's what they're categorized under anyways. And then more in there. The Iron King, uh, books are so good, or the Iron Fay, I should say. And then more over here. These are like all angel books now. And let me come down here. These are my pirate books. Let's zoom out on that. Kind of awkward. Um, oh my gosh, the Bloody Jack books. I've only read the first one, and I'm hooked. They're so amazing, and I love that the covers all match. And then the Uglies trilogy with the extra book that sucked. And then the, um, oh, it just got renamed, but the, um, the Skin trilogy by Robin Wasserman. And then down here we have more kind of just paranormal books, all in hardcover with um, Hunger, Rage, and Loss, which I have yet to read, but I'm going to because, oh my god, the first two were amazing. So, so good. Loss is going to be fantastic as well. Um, excuse me for sniffling. Jackie Morse Kessler was so, so sweet and sent me an advanced reader copy that signed, so it is on the normal shelf here instead of on the advanced reader shelf because they have to go together. And I can't wait to buy my own finished copy too. But I am always going to be keeping this advanced reader. And then down there is just junk. Junk, 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 junk. Extra covers for like Breaking Dawn and Harry Potter, which I had to rebuy because I'm going books to friends and I lose them. So, up here, very random, awkward angle, you get, um, I don't even know what these are. They're like my fantasy type books. Uh, fantasy, random, like paranormal, all along here, and then it goes into zombies and dystopia, and post-apocalyptic, and all that good stuff. Let me come down here, my Hunger Games trilogy, so good. So, and then, these are my oversized books, with the exception of statistical probability. These are all the, like, really tall books, so they're all together with my Nightshade Trilogy. Love it! And then really tall books. Um, Damon and Half-Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I loved Dissidian so much. I just kept buying her books and oh, so good. So 
the Leviathan, which I really want to read and I want to get the other ones. They sound so amazing, steampunk. And then all of my Cassandra Clare books, which I'm actually kind of excited for the movie. Because, like, I stopped reading the books, but the movie looks really good. And then over here, more contemporaries. After by Amy Ifa, which the light on you can't really see there. That's a little better. Right there. Um, it is such a heartbreaking book. Like, you will never read another book like it. And then Meg Cabot books. Or Cabot, I should say. Sorry. My Rachel Vincent Teen books. And then my... These are like random fairy tale books. Um, Never the Bride is kind of like a weird retelling of Frankenstein, but it's about the bride Frankenstein, and then like something borrowed is about her as well. And then Gregory Maguire, so good, and Jane. And then down here, these are my um, fairy tale books with mermaids and unicorns and werewolves and like sea creatures and paranormal creatures like that. So, um, the Jennifer Lynn Barnes books. Cannot wait for the third book. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so good. And all of my mermaid books. I have so many. Lost Voices. Right there. Underneath all of the junk that's accumulated on the shelf. Um, the Looking Glass Wars is about uh, Alice in Wonderland. So, so good. East by Edith Patu is uh, another fairy tale retelling. And then Wild Wild Dancing, oh my god, so, so good. It was on um, Book Rat Misty's Fairy Tale Fortnite, like, top ten list. Amazing. And then all of these. Cinder. Um, I really, really want to get Ella Enchanted in a matching hardcover for these two. And then also in the way of, like, all these old cell phone things. Um, Sweetly and Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. I cannot wait to read those. And Entwined by Heather Dixon. So good. And then... Stay up there. Get out of my way. No, oh, you're just going to fall down again, aren't you? I'll fix that cord as best I can. Okay. So down here, um, these are just kind of like a random mishmash of books. So... Um, the first two books in the Amanda Hawking Trill Trilogy. So looking forward to reading these. I want to get all three before I do. Hunting Lila and Faded by Sarah Alderson. Oh my gosh, I have not even cracked these open. I got the, that's like the UK edition right there. Um, but I like honestly just, I've heard such amazing things. I cannot wait. And then Skins. If you haven't watched the TV show Skins, so long as you are like of age. It is fantastic. You should watch it. It is so good. Um, and all of these books. Sirens. So cute. I hate the cover for the second book though. Even though it was pretty nicely done and it was really cute read too. So in all of these books, my Lisa McMahon books. And then these ones. The Goddess um, Test Trilogy. Oh, so Leaders, more stuff. Um, the Adoration of Jenna Fox. I cannot wait for the Fox Inheritance to come into paperback. Then I can buy it and it will match. It will be pretty. So, down here, if I zoom out, um, my Megan McCafferty uh, Jessica Darling series. The fourth one is in, paper, in hardcover. And I found them all at like. Valley Villages, so I kind of snagged it while I could, but I really want to get the fourth and fifth one in the matching um, paperback covers like those two, but they're very hard to find. Then where the wild things are, I kind of know other place to put it, so up there. All of my Maria V. Snyder books. So, so, so looking forward to the next Touch of Power um, book in that trilogy. So amazing. And I need to find Magic Study in the cover that's like those ones they match. And then more contemporary novels. And Abundance of Catherine's. Totally bought that because of my name right there. Can you see it? Can you see it? Right there. I'm getting in close. Woo! Okay, and then down here I have a random chamber pot. Yes, that is a chamber pot with papers and books. 
on pledged totally about sororities. It is crazy. These are kind of just a mishmash of books. And then I have, oh, get that out of the way, She-Ra, Princess of Power, Pretty Little Liars and Heartland on DVD. Those are my DVDs. 